Here's the deal, folks. Let's head on over to the wall and talk about what we're seeing out there this morning. And we are starting off with a couple of spotty rain showers. We have that east wind. That east wind tends to bring us some morning showers along the coast. And then the sea breeze gets going. And then late in the day, we pick up some inland thunderstorms. So this morning, we are starting off with one little shower right there just east of uh, Jonathan Dickinson State Park. You can see it right along 95. And the turnpike that is pushing up towards the north, just south of Port Salerno, into Palm Beach County. We did pick up a couple of showers into Boca, but notice how quickly they fizzled. They came on shore and poof, that was it. Offshore, still a couple other spotty showers that will continue to watch. Otherwise, out in the Atlantic, high pressure continues to dominate right there. The return flow around that high is creating that easterly wind for us. All right, so here's a picture from one of our weather spotters. This is Scott Walter. This is out of Juno Beach. You can see just a really pretty picture. Thank you for sending that in. Heading into the holiday weekend, Saturday, Sunday, about a 60% chance of a shower or storm both days. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy at times. Temperatures 89 degrees. That's where we should be. That is the average high for this time of year. Way out here near Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, there's a big batch of tropical moisture. And as we head towards the holiday week and that batch of moisture just simply starts to work its way into South Florida. And that means our rain chances will be on the increase. But for today, a couple of spot showers along the coast during the morning and then during the afternoon, you can see the afternoon thunderstorms working their way from east to west. 90 today, not much change over the next few.